the longest combos of all time. <laughs> because the Nair lasted three seconds. Yeah, I'm, that, that, that right there, like, I felt like that was a necessary, it wasn't a buff or necessary, it was just a change. Yeah, I was about to say, it wasn't a buff, it wasn't a nerf, but it was one of the most important changes to this game's history. Mm -hmm. So we will see Umeki versus Cyan. Uh, yeah, like we said, I mean, likely to see fundies. These are characters that we have seen since the game launched. Um, and, and a lot of, I think what's interesting about both of these characters, I think they really define what we think about Ultimate as, which is very safe aerials and being in the air for most of the game because yeah. all their stuff pretty much starts out of the air. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, obviously, you know, with, with Pete's, the float is, is, is a pivotal part of your uh, success, which means that you do, you have to get in the air for that. Uh, and on, with the side of uh, Palutena, you have some really good aerials, like back airs, super safe. Uh, neutral air is your combo starter. Forward air is pretty safe as well. So like, you, you've got really good aerials. Up air, if anybody's overused, well, that's that's dead. So. Yeah. That's what she does. I, I'm fascinated by the fact that you have said, like, three different moves are safe, and immediately after that, Cyan connected all of them. So I think that if you wanted Cyan to win, you could just go, yeah, forward air is safe, and uh, forward air is really safe. Yeah. And I think the forward air is really safe. Yeah, also, honestly, like. if he drops a couple more forward airs, he'd be way safe. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> It keeps happening. Umeki, though, safe pressure with that side B and then drifts back in with that forwarder. That's a classic peach pressure string. You see it all the time because people think, I should at least be able to make up some space, but whipping that one, Cyan just getting out of the way, spacing well, and then back air is enough to take out that stock. And peach is not a light character. She's actually mid-weight, but uh, you know the floatiness is definitely the defining factor. Yeah, it's really the floatiness that make, makes her seem very light, but, you know, definitely a... Uh, no, nowhere down there with like the jigs and the, and the Pichus, none of that. Mm -hmm. not, not even Fox. So here, oh, ah, okay. Oh, the, the, the one single down there. I needed that to be something. I don't know what it was gonna be, but I feel like I, I needed it to be something. I, I needed to see something. That, that's what Umeki did back in Smash Four. Umeki was the one person who was like, "Hey, if you want to see some new stuff that Peach is doing, you watch Umeki." Is that a stitch? Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I, I, I've had it too long. It's we still. don't we don't mess with that anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You start, you start to get anxious when you hold on to a stitch too long. You're like, I, I'm suddenly realizing the danger that this poses to all life on the screen. Okay. Back air, okay. Still keeping up that ledge trap, though. I love the, the mix of different tools Cyan is applying. And once again, local crowd seeing their local boy on stream doing well against a renowned player, Cyan taking... Uh, you know, the stock lead twice in this set now, but Umeki is always sticking to him like glue, taking that next stock immediately. We go to one apiece. All right, the back air coming out yet again. But, yeah, we're keeping this we're keeping this game super close so far. Cyan, I like to see it. Umeki hasn't really been able to get that true Umeki magic just yet. Not able to land uh -oh. anything out of shield on that Nair. Again, also a, a pretty safe move from Palu. Out of the air. Here come the Umeki combo. We it's the classics. Mm. Walking them, and that Ooh. is going to be that deep. That forward air was so deep. Yeah, there was no, there was no way. There's no possible, fathomable way that you could have uh, lived that. So, walking them though. I love that. Love to see it. Kind of had to go that deep to kill with Peach Fair these days, though. Like, yeah, you, yeah. shadow of its former self. Oh yeah. And that Still was like killing it like ninety. Hard. Yeah. yeah. I feel like with with the, with the nerf that hard, they had to change the animation. Like, <laughs> like don't even give her a crown anymore. Like she lives in our just the hand slap, yeah. dainty. Boo. Still though, I mean, it's such a that's another one of those moves that's just kind of an inherent timing mix-up because you're always thinking about oh, like Peach Daisy, like they have the pretty much instant feeling aerials, right? They float up and then they come out so quickly, and so you pick an option to try to get around that. That's where the forward air comes out. And the intuition that so many of these uh, these top Peach and Daisy players have to know when to throw that move out, when you're going to try to avoid that next immediate hit, mm. is uh, is always so fun to watch. Ooh. All right, so I mean, it's a, a way better start off here for uh, for Umeki. He is uh, like the first game. I think I Sign actually had a pretty solid lead at the beginning, but now Umeki is absolutely controlling the full pace of this match. 134 already on to Cyan. Nice across Ooh. the screen. That's what it used to look yeah, like. Yeah, that's what it used to look like. <laughs> that's, that's what that KO used to look like. But. No questions asked. But I also think he was probably trying to get a dash back because he went straight to the left. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Here comes Umeki again. My goodness. 102%. Like, we've seen two combos like this 
already and hasn't been able to lead it into a KO, but you really don't even need to when you're racking up damage that quickly. Yeah, bro, Meki is putting on the pressure for sure. Just need a little time to wake up. Seems like he has definitely found that, that time. Uh-oh. That Winky face definitely could have been tough for Cyan, right? A lot of extra knockback that gives Peach the opportunity to, against a character that does not have a, a hitbox on the recovery, uh, can be really dangerous, Ooh. though. That nice. up smash, yeah, but that lingering hitbox, really, really smart. Yeah, that's, that's an impressive up smash. Like, you do, no, you do not do a standard get up ever when that when someone's charged. Don't interact. Pretty. Yeah. Ooh, my gosh! I, the I have nothing else to say. Like, The perfect. Mahomes. <laughs> Throwing those from deep. I'm deep! <laughs> Love to see it, Umeki. Gonna uh, stall out that recovery. Nice. A little juke here. What, we can, what can we do from the edge? Most likely, we're going to turn that to a big combo if that hit. Uh-huh. But no turn up in hand means that Cyan can play a little bit more aggressively, try to put that pressure on Umeki. I, I think what's really tough, though, is that Palu's game plan pretty much revolves around, you know, keeping you guessing as to whether she is feigning pressure or putting pressure onto you. And then she really needs to capitalize when you fall for the feints. She has to have good reads on what you do after she has short hopped in front of you and you give her that response. And Cyan's dropped a couple of those opportunities, hasn't been able to really punish Umeki for uh, most of the time these jumps away. Right. All right, re-grabbing the ledge right there, but not going to be uh, be hit out of that. Ooh. Oh, wind box. Had it's the right idea, though. You yeah, no, had like, the right idea. hold that a little bit longer, right? You've definitely got the, the stocks back to even, mm -hmm. but spacing's tough. Okay. All right, my man's trying to get back down to, oh, whoa, that close plane's just a little too far out. Luckily, though, Meki not over there in time to get a type of punish. Dash attack. Unfortunately, not going to be enough to take that stock. Forcing Umeki to dance and weave, but then getting a little bit too aggressive off stage, so that does give Umeki the advantage when it comes to controlling the stage. And with a turn up in hand, a kill confirm can be abound very quickly, almost finding it off of the hit one of the up air, which, uh, again, like the fact that Umeki is looking for these combos that I have never before seen, and I live in Mudace's region, is crazy. <laughs> He's a technician. Ooh. Up throw, not going to be enough just yet, but we're, we are getting those percentages, surprisingly, where Peach can't actually get a kill to throw. Still living, even on the dash tag. Wow. And Paolo can just really struggle against these midweight characters, and Hollow Bastion's got big blast zones. It is still enough to get the KO with that Nair from all the way down there. So Cyan is still hanging on, but hanging on is really all he is, because one, I mean, really a straight aerial from Umeki could definitely do it at this point. True. Yeah, 155. Uh, we, we are we are looking at just a simple back air from on the right good side of the stage. <laughs> the good from, side of the stage. From closer, you know, yeah. like closer to the ledge. Great recovery by Cyan though, and does get Umeki up on the platform. So big things can start happening for him. I believe that's double jump gone, but Umeki drifting down quickly. Cyan though, really sticking to him. But there's that timing mix-up I was talking about. You expected something like the Nair. Or you know, the up air something, right, that comes out on the shield immediately, but instead the timing mix up of that forward air, it is inherent. In he dropped a bit too, like he was gonna go to the ledge, so he probably got it mixed up, uh, off of that as well. And then, yeah, me, instead of going for the ledge, just immediately double jump forward air as you drop shield. And so now Meki, one game away, but I mean, this is still a very, very nice set right here that we've been able to get uh, between them. The Daisy showing up, the Palu showing up, love to see it. Yeah, I, I, I think that, Cyan's kept it so close, the difference has really just been, I think, damage output. I think that these two players have actually been very, very even in terms of trading blows and who's actually getting neutral openings, but Cyan has not been able to really match what Umeki can do in those optimal situations. Like, you know, sometimes you think, how much does extending my combo for an extra 40-50% mean, right? Like, I could just get another opening on my opponent, but that has been the difference in these sets. All right, a little back air action coming out. Nice, oh, yep, let's get that quick walk. 121, good catch. Instant catch, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter though, man, just getting absolutely marked. Can't even get back to the stage, still has one in hand. I love oh. the idea there too, Numeki going deep, trying to catch that forwarder where I think most people would just try to go for like the Nair or something. Yeah, I thought the Nair was gonna come out, but maybe he thought uh, uh, Cyan was just a little, Cyan did have to like kind of drift to the ledge, so the idea of going for the forwarder because he wasn't gonna immediately snap is there, but the Nair would have been a lot easier to connect. Good DI by Cyan though, going to the left uh, during that combo. Like normally, one of the things that kind of enables some of these Peach combos is that people will actually 
try to combo DI, they'll try to hold out, but at those early percents, that's what opens this up. And Umeki, again, immediately just teleports you to 115%, and there is the forwarder using it to cover above the ledge, kind of as a pseudo up air. And Umeki, three stocks to one, and not even close to kill percents yet. All right. Omeki said, I want you to know that these were never supposed to be close, apparently, right now. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely running through Cyan, but we still have a chance. Yep, we still have a chance. The down smash not going to do it yet. you got to go for the up smash there. That will also hit under ledge. It's your everything button. Yeah, it was a little bit too greedy, right, thinking maybe the down smash is the only one that can get the KO, but uh, you can't be thinking like that. Like, even though Omeki has this big lead, you're not playing a character that, especially in this matchup, has that kind of comeback factor. Like, Palo has the down air, but you're never going to hit that against Daisy. She's got the parasol. You have to commit yourself to saying, I've got five minutes on the clock. I need to try to use every single one of them. Oh, yeah. Dash attack. I mean, with the DI not being so great there from Umeki, still going to be living to see another day. 140. Fourth throw. Okay. Same off the yep. stage. Take the throw as we see. It will not get you killed in that position. There into the up tilt, though. Classic confirmed for Palu, especially on those taller characters. But again, still a hell of a hill to climb right now. Okay. Don't have caught up there at all. Surprising. I thought we were going to get in, like, you know, anything. I think so close to the edge, probably didn't have any running room to try to get mm. uh, a little closer to get that momentum. But, okay. I could Siam back into the corner. Has been pretty good getting back up off the ledge, but that might be the last chance that he gets to do so, going all the way over to the other side of the stage. But Umeki, again, mixing up that timing, making it tough for Cyan to catch on to exactly what he's doing, and this could be it shortly. Okay. Or, I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, this will be a crazy comeback to try to do right here, but at least he's still putting up the fight. Cyan, one solid hit away, and is that the one? It is. The forward air is going to do it. Omeki with the perfect timings. He said the timing mix up on his uh his forward airs, the, the placings of them, all of that. Just uh great, great uh showing of Daisy. Uh, as I said, we were gonna get, you know? Man. Yeah. And honestly, I think what really impresses me is that even though we did see a lot of like really technical stuff come out from Omeki, uh Again, a, a pretty simple game plan. I, we didn't even really see like the whole suite of Peach tools. I think we saw down air maybe like twice from yeah. Umeki in that entire set. I think really sticking to, I want to see how you deal with this tool, and then if you have an answer, I'll try to switch it up to another. But I think that at the end of the day, Umeki said, hey, if I just kind of stick close to the ground and have a turn up in hand, it looks like there's really not a, a great answer coming out to that. Yeah, man. So this is crazy. I mean so crazy how how this tournament is shaping up already. Pools matches have been absolutely insane. We got uh you know even more pools to be showing you. We got more dubs at some point in time too. So I imagine the dubs going uh well uh, as, uh, as well. But I'm just the, the the caliber of player that we're getting already in these matches, where you know even 3-0s look like they were actual uh, contests. It's nice. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You can definitely see that somebody's uh you know got the ability to put up a fight, but. You got more matches with people coming up, uh, you know, people that can more than put up a fight. Some more upsets and, uh, you know, some more of the players that you know and love are going to be coming up, but it will not be with us, at least for the moment. We will be tagging it out to some other commentators, I believe some locals as well. But, uh, DK, it's been a heck of a good time, my friend. Yeah, always.